Hi, my name is Marie Elchin and I'm a fiber artist and a teaching artist for Fleischer Art Memorial. When I'm making fiber art, I like to do sewing. Fibers means you work with textiles and thread. And as I sew, I poke my needle through my fabric and I pull up and I pull down. And it's this very calming activity that I do. I sort of start to breathe as I sew. So as I pull up, I breathe in. And as I go down, I breathe out. And it's just the most calming thing that I can think of to do. Lots of art is calming. Let's take a look at a painting by Alma Thomas. What do you notice in Alma Thomas's painting? As I look at it, I'm drawn into that bright red center. I feel like I'm zooming through space. And all this energy radiates out of it. It almost pulses in and out, in and out. Another thing I notice is it looks sort of like a circular rainbow. So it has red in the middle, and then it goes to orange, yellow, green, blue, blue-violet, purple, all the way at the edge. She called this painting a fantastic sunset. It also reminds me of being outside watching the sun go down. It's a really nice, calming thing to watch. I thought we could try something called rainbow breathing together. But the first thing you're gonna to have to do, make sure all of your markers are in rainbow order. We're gonna have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Just like Alma Thomas is painting. I'm gonna get my markers out. Let's see, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I have a brown and black, but I'm gonna leave them out for now. Maybe we'll use them later. When you're doing rainbow breathing, you're gonna start with your red. And as you draw your rainbow arc, you're going to breathe with your drawing. So I'm gonna start at the bottom way on the left side of my paper, and I'm gonna draw up to the top, middle, like a curve. And I breathed it as I went up, and then as I come down, I'm gonna breathe out. Again, I'm gonna breathe in as I go up, and out as I go down. You could switch it up and do different kinds of lines if you want. Maybe I'll do a dotted line up. So breathe out as I go down. Whenever you're ready, or whenever you've drawn enough lines in one color, you can switch colors. I read aside. And next comes orange. Keep breathing as you draw. I'm going to breathe up and down. This time I'll try a different line. I want to do yellow next. I notice when I hold my marker sideways, I get a thick line. And if I hold it with the tippy top point up, I'll get a thin line. Breathe in up and out down. Green next. When you breathe, you fill your belly full of air. Breathe up. Big belly full. Hold it there and then breathe out. I'm 
running out of room, but I have just enough left over for my purple. Raise up and down. Up and out, down. I have a whole rainbow. You can do this over again if you want. Anytime you want to calm down, remind yourself to breathe by drawing it again. Or you can use your picture to help you calm down and do your breathing just by tracing it with a finger. So I'm going to practice my breathing by tracing my big rainbow first. And then out on the way down. And then to my orange, up. And out, down. And then the yellow, up. And out, down. Green, up. And out, down. And my blue, up. And out, down. Purple. And down. And whether I'm drawing it or tracing it, I still get that same feeling as I'm breathing and looking at my art. I hope that made you feel good to do that. Let's take a look at another picture. This is a painting by an artist named Cy Twombly. It's at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. He made a whole series of paintings about Greek mythology and Greek heroes in the middle of a battle. In this painting, he's showing his heroes, Achilles on the left, Proclus in the middle, and Hector on the right-hand side. He didn't show them as people, he just showed them as color shapes. They look like busy clouds swirling around. But he chose to do them in different colors. How do you think his heroes feel based on the colors Cy Twombly's chose to use. What does that red show? What does that gray and black show? What does that white show? Sometimes artists like to use colors to show feelings. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty happy. What colors are matching your feelings? My happy color is yellow or orange, because it's bright. Do you have a sad color? Sometimes I think a dark blue feels sad. How are you feeling today? Are you feeling happy or sad or angry? Surprised? Are you bored? I hope you're not bored. But let's make some art about how we're feeling. On a new piece of paper, don't lose this one. Don't throw it out. We're going to keep it and save it for later. On a brand new piece of paper, I want you to think about how you're feeling today. I'm feeling pretty happy. So I'm going to use a happy color, which for me is orange. I probably used shapes. You can use shapes too. Or scribbles. Me, happy feels sort of bouncy. I'm going to use some curvy lines. Sort of bouncing all over. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Some pop, pop, pops. Like a big cloud. Mine looks really like a flower, doesn't it? I'm also feeling kind of calm after all that breathing we did. And a calm shape for me would be a blue. Blue is my calm color. And maybe a circle. You could draw lines or you could color them in if you want. I'm using markers, but you could do this with colored pencils too if you want. I'm not feeling angry right now, but if I were angry, I might take a red and just scribble because I don't feel good. It out.
if I was sleepy, I might draw something. Mm -hmm. Close, oh. You can make as many as you want to. You make a whole rainbow full different shapes. I'm going to draw a bright green triangle. I'll do it multicolors. I'm going to have a multicolor day. I think that's my like a weak shape. What if your shapes became characters? What would you need to have to turn it into a character? I think just having some facial expressions like eyes and mouth and maybe some arms. So take a moment and think about for your happy shape, what would your happy face look like? What would your happy body look like? Maybe if you have a sad shape, think about what your sad face would look like. Your sad body. Do you have an angry shape? What would your angry face look like? What would your angry body look like? Think about what your body and your face does. And then maybe we can make our characters do something like that. I'm going to start with eyes. Now, I don't know if you have googly eyes around. I was kind of lucky. I have some eyes here. I think I might make at least one googly eyes. I don't know. Those are like half closed eyes. I think I would put them on my my sleepy shape. And let's see. Uh, your eyes in here. Oh, it's like a crazy shape. If you don't have googly eyes, you can use your black marker. So I'm going to glue those down. Maybe you have a glue bottle, maybe you have a glue stick. You do not need a lot of glue for a googly eye. Just a little dot is all I'm going to need. I put a little dot and I'm going to stick those sleepy eyes on my sleepy shape. And my crazy eyes on my happy shape. A little glue goes a long way. If you had a glue stick, you would just rub a little glue stick on the back of the eye and then stick it on. If you don't have googly eyes, you can draw your eyes with a black marker. Hmm, my calm eyes. I'm gonna draw some eyes. Maybe on top of my circle over here, since I have dark blue, it won't show up very well. And my calm hands. He's just chilling out over here. Smile, smiling. Eyebrows. This guy's sleepy. So maybe. Arms are gonna come and like hold the head, and I'll stick some legs out like he's lying down. If he's sleepy, I'll give him some Z's. My happy, crazy shape is gonna look excited. Yay! My angry face I'm going to have that fists. Just angry. And hmm. This one I think is going to wonder, why are you so angry? Maybe it's a worried face. 
I don't know. Why is that guy so angry? You can make as many characters as you want. You could even make them say things. So I'm going to make my character say, I'm happy. You made with me. Oh my gosh, I forgot to give him a happy face. My brows. I'm happy you made art with me. Drawing and coloring and making art are all ways that I use to make myself feel happy. So whenever you're feeling mad or sad, you can help yourself get out of those feelings just by making some art. Or if you're feeling happy, you could celebrate that by making some happy art. So we'll have to save all of these drawings that we've made because I think we can come up with some way to put them all together and make an even more interesting work of art a little bit later. Hope you had fun today. See you later.